What's up guys, TC here and welcome back to another episode of Starbound Tips and today I wanted to cover a little episode on some cool little building tricks you can do. Um, these will kind of allow you to do some some unique little, I don't know, just kind of weird things that you can't normally do in the game. So I figured I'd show them off, they're nothing too crazy, but first things first involves these composite rail platforms. So these are these little things right here, composite rail, and so these are what you throw your platform, a uh, little thing you ride around. Uh, and it rides on these rails, and they don't have a hitbox, like you can't stand on them or anything, but they have some really unique attributes. So, we'll take this chest here, and so if I want to put this chest in the ground, obviously you can. Now, if you wanted to put the chest on the background, you can't do that, because it's not a wall-mounted item. Uh, so, there's really no way to do that other than to put it on top of a platform. Now, what's cool is that you can put this chest on this rail. So, like, you can't stand on it, but the chest can. So, uh, it's kind of a cool way to put things like, out of reach, or to make things kind of float in a way. Uh, you can do other stuff like uh, I like to put my uh, my little pet tethers up on these things. Maybe if it's for like a um, like I want my pet to be on the ground, but I want I don't want the, the pet tether to be in the picture. Sometimes I'll put the pet tether up in the air so they'll kind of drop down and they'll hover down. They'll stay around below it, but at least the pet tether won't be visible. Um, another cool thing you can do is you can like you know these things can support doors, obviously. Uh, now what's interesting is that doors have hit boxes as long as they're on. So you can uh, basically pretty much make a floor that will, like if you were to make a bunch of these, you could do stuff like this and have like a floor that just completely disappears. There you go. So yeah, kind of some fun stuff you can do. Um, nothing too wild. Although it does look kind of cool, I'll be honest. Um, anyways, moving on. So this next little bit we have is involving invisible blocks. So the invisible blocks, uh, there's a couple different options in the game. The first one you have here is matter block. Uh, so these things here, you can place it like that and you'll see it's physical, like you can see that, but when you paint it any color, it will become invisible. So uh, that's one option. You can place this in the background, which is what I've done uh, right here. Uh, and it makes it's kind of cool because it means you can put stuff on the background without a, or what appears to be, not be a wall. So uh, yeah, you can do like wall-mounted stuff without an actual wall. And so all I did was I just placed that uh, that matter block in the background and painted it. Now there's another option you have though, involving copper ladders. Now I know what you're thinking, like, ladders? When did Starbound ever have ladders? And, uh, I guess a long time ago, early on in the development, Starbound had the concept for ladders. It was going to be something. I think they just went with platforms, uh, at the end of the day. And so I think these copper ladders just kind of got left behind. And so now when you go to try to, you can spawn them in. Um, you can see when you try to place them, they don't, uh, they don't even have, a, like, a physical, like, a visual hitbox. So right here I've got a bunch of them placed. And you'll see you can just kind of stand on them. It looks like you're floating. Walk up here. I've got a couple more placed up here. I'm not sure quite where it stops at, but uh, yeah, these little copper platforms are kind of cool. If you want to make it look like you're floating, or you have like some kind of energy bridge or something like that, uh, these are definitely an easy option for that. Now the next one here. Some of you old school guys might remember these. These are the jump pads. Uh, these things are, in my opinion, cool versions of elevators because you can kind of string them together in a cool way. And essentially, when you walk over it, and it just kind of bounces you around. Um, they are wall mounted though, so they don't just sit on the ground. You'll notice all these have to have background to them, so they're kind of strange. But you can kind of tether them together, uh, and you'll see here, when I hit this, turn it on, it shoots you up. And so you can kind of use these as a replacement to an elevator if you wanted to. It won't be, you know, obviously it's like not as specific as like a platform elevator, because it can't like take you, you know, the exact floor you want without it not like a lot of complicated wiring. But, you know, for something like this, you can make like a, a quick access, um, space elevator that you just uses a ton of these things so you just ride it all the way up and some other thing you can do here what's kinda cool is I have these kinda lined across the ceiling so if you jump into these things they will uh... you'll just get kinda stuck in it and you can ride along uh... with these things so it kinda if you didn't want to do the the whole rail thing you didn't have to you know you can always just ride that around um... it's something kinda fun it also works with items i'm not sure if i can get one in there but uh... Um, that's probably not a good block to throw let's try it there it is. So you'll see the block kind of flies along and also it gets shot up. So yeah, it's effective on players, objects, entities, pretty much anything in the game. So it can be kind of fun. Well, we're going to speed time up just a little bit. There we go. So moving on, this last little bit to kind of wrap things up, I just wanted to kind of point out that there's so many blocks in this game. Uh, and I see so many people using just the same old blocks over and over again. And to definitely like consult the wiki because there's so many options and people are never taking advantage of it. Uh, it just, it's there's just so many options. So like, I just want to show off a few of the ones that I pretty much never see people play with. So we have one here. This looks like a very, very like, basically looks like guts, kind of like ground up meat. 
It's called a pile of flesh, but this is why you have to consult the wiki, is that their ID names are different sometimes than their actual like visual names. So this is called the Hellstone material when you want to spawn it in. I think it came from an original, like an old school biome called Hellstone biome. It's kind of an underground uh, detached biome. So uh, yeah, you can get that. It looks kind of cool. Then there's the tentacle pipe block, which I think it's just called large tentacle here, but you would spawn it in under large or tentacle pipe or something. And so yeah, it functions just like pipes, but uh, in my opinion, it looks really cool. You know, the whole tentacle thing, you can make like a base. It's got these tentacles kind of crawling all over it. Um, it's a really cool look. Now up next we have uh, the Dermis, I think is what this is. Ruined Dermis. This is uh, obviously from, a lot of these are from the very final mission. Uh, but this Ruined Dermis is cool. I think it's Dermis Block if you want to spawn it in. It's kind of got a bit of a weird look to it. Um, another one here is the Stomach Block, which you don't even see this one at all. I think this, I think the original mission, or the original end game mission was supposed to be like, you go through like the different parts of the Ruin. And so like I think the Stomach was like one part of it you would travel through. Um, and so I, th I think they just kind of abandoned that ad idea, but they left the block there. So uh, yeah, it's kind of a cool looking, weird, nasty looking block. Uh, up next we have these coconut blocks. So you'll see here, uh, coconut block. I think it just, I think that's also its spawn name. Um, I'm not sure, maybe this was like supposed to be a crafting material for coconut blocks. Once again, let me jump ahead just a little bit here. There we go. So these uh, coconut blocks, pretty cool. They have a really unique feature and the way they paint is kind of cool. So like, when you paint these things, they, uh, it just paints that part. So you can make like some crazy looking patterns there with that stuff there. Kind of a cool feature. Definitely always try to paint these blocks and see what all um, color schemes is. Because some of them don't always paint the way you would think they would. It's so, like for instance these coconut blocks don't paint the way you'd expect. Another one here is the spider silk block. So this one here, I think this was supposed to be in the, uh, the Florin mission and ended up getting scrapped. Um, but yeah, it's just spider silk. I'm not sure what all uses this would have. Maybe if you're making like some kind of bug themed base or something or insect themed this might go with it another one here is the cloud block this is one of my favorites because I, I I used to really love building like sky bases and stuff like that in Minecraft and so it's kinda like a way for me to build my little sky bases here little clouds and build my base on top of it uh, this one here is from the first mission uh, this is called I think it's called super matter when you spawn it in but its display name is Erceus crystal and this stuff's kinda cool because it does glow so once again, we are going to jump ahead, and so you'll see there, it's uh, got this purplish glow. There we go. Get it a little bit brighter. Um, but this is kind of a cool block, because the way it angles, I think that's kind of a unique feature there. It's got these, like, you see the, the hard angles like that. It's kind of cool. And the last one here is the candy block. And so this used to be a, uh, a seasonal thing. Like, uh, I'm not sure. I think it was, like, Christmas-related you would, I think when you killed monsters during like Christmas time, it would drop like a special drop and it would allow you to craft um, Christmas themed stuff and this candy block was one of those things. And I think there was a time where it was craftable by sugar too, but I don't think you can make it anymore. But uh, yeah, if you wanted to make like a candy themed world, I thought it would be, be kind of cool. There's a bunch of candy themed objects if you didn't know. Um, but again, you can find those on the wiki. But anyways, that's going to wrap up today's episode. I just wanted to do a, a general purpose tips episode on building and stuff like that. I feel like it's been a while since we went back to our roots on just some general purpose building. But anyways, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please rate, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later.